You know, if you continue to go in the wrong direction for an even longer period of time, thinking it's going to get you where you want to go, you're fooling yourself. Because you have to go in the proper direction to be able to get to your destination. So if you're driving, you can drive a long way and never make it. But God helps us to be able to understand that we're needing a change of course. And he helps us to turn around and to do the right thing. That truly is the, re the definition of repentance. To do an about face, to turn from our sin and to turn to God. And to head in a different direction. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to follow him. And he'll help us in the process. Hi, I'm Craig Fritchley, pastor of Calvary Apostolic Tabernacle with today's devotional. And our great God helps us as we walk in this life. And every once in a while, he causes us to realize we're not doing the right thing. We need to correct course. When I was a youth pastor in Belleville years ago, we had a couple young ladies that couldn't go with the youth group to youth convention in Effingham. And so they were going to drive later when they got off work. So they left Belleville. They headed up Interstate 5570. And instead of when the interstate split, instead of taking 70 and coming east, they stayed in 55 and went north. Long before cell phones. And so we knew when they were going to be supposed to get there, and they weren't there. An hour goes by, they're still not there. So I call home. Did they leave on time? Yeah, they left on time. Where are they? We don't know. And they continued to drive north on 55, just enjoying each other's conversations, just heading to a place they're never going to get going that direction. They went through Springfield. They went all the way to Bloomington, an hour further no, when they saw the signs, Chicago, so many miles ahead, they realized we're going the wrong way. Because if you head the wrong way and continue to go the wrong way, you're never going to get to where you need to be. Needless to say, they showed up to youth convention after the first night service was over. They were about five hours late because they continued to go the wrong way for some two hours, and then they backtracked, and then they came the right way. My friend, God doesn't want you to go the wrong direction. He wants you to correct course. Psalms chapter 80, three times in this chapter, this verse is written. Turn us again, O God, it's a prayer, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Turn us, God. Shine upon us. Because we need you. And so we've got to let God help us. And so when you realize you've done something wrong, ask for forgiveness. And then correct course. Turn around. Our pride makes it hard on us, but God will help you. And so humbly ask for his forgiveness. Then if you've wronged somebody else, ask them to forgive you also. Correct course and head the right direction. Because if you're on the Broadway with many other people, you're going to find yourself in a place that you didn't want to be at the end of this life. You've got to follow God's plan, the straight, the narrow pathway. You've got to do it God's way because it's the only way to get to heaven. Jesus looked at Nicodemus in John chapter 3. He had compassion on him. He loved him. And he said, hey, if you're not born of water and of spirit, if you're not born again, you're not going to see or enter into the kingdom of heaven. So Nicodemus, you need this information. All of us need that information. We've got to be born of water and of spirit. We've got to repent. We've got to be baptized in Jesus' name. And we need to be filled with God's spirit. It's God's plan. Just believing on him is not enough because that belief leads to action. And that action helps us to correct course and listen to the voice of God. As God turns us, his face shines on us, and we're saved. God bless you. If you have any questions, we'd love to help you. Listen to the voice of God. Get into the word of God. And allow God to speak to you and then redirect yourself. Head in the right way. Because it'll get you where you want to go. You're heading that way. Have a wonderful day.